Jake's in there. Well, I'll suggest, yeah, I'll suggest you keep out the way, frankly. Okay. But anyway. So, a big cheer for Indians. Uh, it's not that bad. It's been Anderson and Stone, who I think, to put it mildly, have got a lot to do. You never know. No, you never know. But, um, James Anderson. Well, you know. Yeah. Yes. How, how do you feel when you walk out to bat as number 11 oh, and you've got that sort of expectation going on from the hollies down but you know, but I'm not going to score any. Well, I'd, I'd love to. Yeah, it's not, it's not I'd, I'd love to get 100, but it's not going to happen, chaps. I mean, there's that level of expectation, isn't there? Or is it just wild optimism? Drunken optimism? It could have, well, not, not this early, perhaps. Oh, it's not, but it would probably be. Um, there, there, there certainly needs to be some optimism for England, that's for sure. I mean, there's every chance that this week in the first six balls. Yeah. They enjoy Jerusalem. And now uh, Holly Stone is taking guard. He's going to face the first ball. England's lead is just 37. And, uh, well, common sense suggests that this won't last long and that New Zealand will wrap it up by lunch. But uh, who knows? We were, we, we, we were talking about the England sort of batting line and everything. But as you know, John, as a bowler, and I know as a bowler, you look at a batting line up and you look at these sort of quirky techniques, and we were talking about that. You, and, you know, you, go, you, you look down on, on the night before round and you think, well, who don't you fancy bowling at? You know, who's going to hurt me as a bowler? You yep. know, and, and you sort of get a bit anxious if there's Gilchrist coming in at seven or someone like that. But you look down this batting line and you think, well, I'm going to, even if I don't bowl great, I'm going to get three for. Yep.